the brief instruction on how to add a new um, graph to Frog, uh, set up a session, and then connect it to Moodle. <coughs> so I'm going to connect to Frog, and we're going to go to the teacher view, and we're going to log in as Matthias. Uh, so right now there's no security here, as you can see. Um, we will soon have proper accounts with passwords and so on. But uh, Currently, we see here that Matthias is logged in, so that means that um, all the graphs and sessions and so on are only for this user. Uh, if another teacher logs in, he will not be able to see it. And we have already a graph set up here. So we can start by adding a simple um, activity. So I double click on this line, and I select, and I can click W, or I can uh, click this button. And here I see the different activities. So we're going to have the word selection activity uh, where we have some settings here. So let's say we have a text about the stroop effect. So I'm just pasting in a, a text. Uh, it's just a normal, we can edit just as we want. Uh, we have some choices here. Um, should each uh, highlighted word be colored differently? Should students choose which color? So let's, in this case, they can color each highlighted word differently. And uh, for now, we don't really want any more activities. So we'll leave it like that. And we can also preview here and see how it will look when uh, we see here that each word gets a different highlighting color. Uh, then we, when we're happy with this graph, we can go to the session. And here we see a list of the graphs. We didn't name it, so it's just the first one. And we'll uh, create a session. And this session automatically gets a unique code, PXHA in this case. And that's the one we're going to use um, to let students log in. Now there's different ways students can log in. For example, we can go here to uh, the session settings. So right now we allow LTI login, so that's for Moodle and Canvas and so on. We can also allow login by name, and then we can allow students to specify their own name, and we'll see how that looks. So the way to go to this session now is, um, i just pull up another browser. So if I just type in the code of the session, Um, I'm already logged in as a teacher, so I'll just log in. And what I see now is I'm, I'm seeing log in as a new user, enter your name. So I'm going to type in Stian and log in. And now I'm logged in as Stian. If I log out again, you see Stian, so I can just select my name and log in again, or I can type a new name. So that's one way of doing it. Um, another way is this LTI method. So to do that, we're going to Go to Moodle, and I'm going to just use the EPFL uh, installation because that's where I have access. So if I'm going to go to a course that will run this fall, and uh, you see that we already have some elements here, but we can just add a new one, and we'll add an external tool. And uh, the important thing here is, uh, let's see. the URL. So this is the same URL, slash LTI, and then slash the code, which was PXHA. So again, this will be different for each session, and this will take the students directly to that session. Then we can choose um, to have this embedded within uh, Moodle, which is a default, or we can have it open in a new window. So we'll, we can try both. Uh, so I can now just uh, name this. I'll say this is um, text reading on group, and uh, I'll save and return to course. We'll see how this looks. So now if I click on this, uh, we'll see that it opens as an iframe within Moodle. Um, if we go back to edit, uh, what we, what we generally prefer, and this is, this is perfectly possible, but what we uh, 
typically prefer is to have it open as a separate uh, separate um, window. So then we'll go here and we'll say um, new window. So this will just open all of Frog in a new window. So we'll save and return to course. And we'll click on this link and as you see it opens a new window uh, but it logs in automatically. It knows that I'm still on Hotlab because of that's uh, because of Moodle. Now, right now, we have this one open on one side, and we have uh, the teacher view open on the other side. Let's see if we can do that. Too many windows. Okay, so we see here Stian Hoklev is logged in through Moodle, and the teacher is um, is here directly. Now we can start this, uh, the, the first activity and right away we see that Stian, now we could have done this before Stian logged in, that's fine, but in this case we were waiting for the students to get ready. Now I can start reading and highlighting, uh, of course every student could be doing this, um, and uh, the teacher can follow along on the dashboard, so we can see here the words that have been highlighted, um, we can see the text with the highlighted words and so on. Um, and uh, of course we could have multiple links in Moodle uh, pointing to multiple sessions and we can have multiple sessions running at the same time. Um, so right now I could uh, quit the session. So quit session doesn't mean, it doesn't change, so you'll see that this does not change anything for the student. All it means is that it uh, means I'm now ready to control another session. So I can go back here to that session where I was in and look at the dashboard and so on. Um, but I can also, for example, start a brand new session using the same graph, um, which would get a different code and which would then have new data. Or I could go back and I could create a new graph. Um, I could have multiple graphs running at the same time and so on. So that was a quick example of trying to show how you would actually set up a graph and the session and then connect that to Moodle. Um, there are many things here which we think could be made easier, both in terms of this user interface and maybe in the future, uh, the actual integration with Moodle, uh, and we would be, uh, of course, also welcoming any kind of feedback.